All right, so I think I'm gonna show you guys, I found a way to get this, uh, this is my um, iPhone that I'm playing off of right now and I'm, I've got it so that it's broadcasting to my computer, uh, which is pretty awesome. Um, so if you wanted to join me, um, look for in the bottom right hand corner there, uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse or not, bottom right hand corner, it's US West, it's the United States West, there's an East and West and then there's like an overseas one. And I'm on Origin 10 server, so, if you get into the game and um, you're on a different server, just click on server change and then go to the 1 to 10 server. So you're just going to click on this over here and then click on Origin 10. Um, and that's where I'm at. So uh, I'm going to jump in here and hopefully the music isn't too loud. It's kind of loud in my headphones. Um, uh, actually, I'm going to stop the video real quick and make sure that that's... That's good, and then I'll be right back. Okay, well, the sound sounds good, so <laughs> let's get started. Um, I'm just going to click on the start button here. Um, I would recommend keeping your phone or device plugged in My arrow never misses the target. <laughs> while you're playing this. Um, I have... So you'll see here, this is my elf. She's. Uh, it says she's Rebirth 0 Rebirth 77. Um, her name is Androna. Um, I can hit the X here and delete her if I want to. It just pops up like a short little uh, code that you got to put in. Um, every hundred levels, you rebirth your character. So, my dark As wizard here. Flame are just my friends. Source, storm, and lightning. These are really cheesy. Uh, the English on here is really cheesy. Uh, this is a, I believe this is a Korean game, um, but it's been translated and everything. It's and this is flawless compared to like the uh, the PC version of this game so there's like Mew the original like Mew uh, which is I think it's been out for forever it's been out forever and it's like uh, it's a really fun game it's really grindy they've done a lot of improvements on that it's still really grindy um, I've been playing it f playing the original for uh, years and years and years I, I keep losing my account so I have to keep starting over my most recent iteration I got to level 36 in like two days which isn't bad, right? But there's 400 levels in the original game. Um, and there isn't much to do except repeat the same quest over and over and over again for 10 levels. Which is really grindy, really boring. Um, but the game itself, outside of like the grindiness, has a lot of diversity, a lot of in-depth, like really cool things about it. Which is why I love it. Um, you can upgrade your armor. There's a bunch of different kinds of armor. There's wings. You can see the wings on here. Um... My elf yeah, wings, and oh, here's my, just my friends. wizard. Uh oh. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> we're back. I don't know what happened there. Um, so yeah, you can spin your guy around. There's wings. Each each of these guys have wings. Um, the next game I'm going to show you is what's called a magic gladiator. In the original Witness game, the real power of darkness. <laughs> in the original game, he can be either uh, a wizard up to a certain point he can't do as many spells as a wizard and then he can do a bunch of dark knight um stuff which i'm going to create a dark knight and play that with you so you can kind of see what it's like um and i'm just going to kind of play through the game with you so that you can kind of like i said um see what it's like the uh, magic lady or the magic knight which is what it's called in this mu origins is a little different he has his own spells he has his own melee stuff so it's kind of cool. I wish there was another character slot here so that I could have the Dark Knight, the Dark Wizard, the Elf, and then both kinds of uh, Magic Knight. Um, but that's not the case. So Or Magic Wizard. Anyway, okay, so let's create a... My magic will tip as ice and no. <laughs> yeah! We're going to create this guy. Sword. He's going to be... Kazil. Because, you know, that's my name. <laughs> we're gonna create character and that's just telling you oh about to go through the name is already needs please change oh well, we'll do Kazil Dark Knight yeah all right so the game is gonna load it loads pretty quick you're gonna start in Lorencia and you're gonna notice that your character automatically starts walking right away um, so right right here we're just going to um, I think I may have lost my airplay again. Ah, I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Anyway, we'll just have to work with that, I think, to get through this. Anyway, 
Um, I'm going to have to look and see if there's like an update for that. It's called Lonely Screen. I'm not entirely sold on it so far. But so far, it's the only one that's worked. So we're going to we're gonna try and struggle with it today. All right, so I'm just going to click on, exped on uh, Start Expedition, and you're going to notice that the character starts walking right away. So what it's doing now is you'll see on the left-hand corner here, um, again, I don't know if I you can see my mouse. People haven't tasted my potion, but I've never heard of anyone who drunk so we'll just hit X there, okay, to cancel out of that. Um, over to the left hand side. Okay, I'm going to try this on my iPad and see if it's any better. Um, probably not going to be. Anyway, um, laggy at the best. <laughs> anyway, over here on the left hand side, you see this big yellow arrow that's bouncing back and forth off of this box. If you click on that box, it will automatically, that's your quest log, right? It'll automatically try to complete that quest. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just click on that. Which means I need to talk to this girl. So I'll click accept here. And then the next quest is to go talk to the next guy. And the next guy is across town here. And I hope it's not this choppy when I'm done with this video. Um, anyway, this is our storage guy. We're going to click accept. And going to get a level. And then it's going to go automatically talk to the next guy. Now if you want to stop at any, more, at any point... Down in the bottom left hand corner here, um, there's a, there's this, it's kind of super transparent here, but it, you can use it as a, as a joystick and you can actually go to this person yourself and try and find them. And, uh, let's see if you click on your screen, if you click on your map up here and go to uh npcs which is the one that's already dropped down here let's see our quest says to talk to harbell so we're going to open up our quest or open up our map and we're going to select harbell which is makes my heart burn hot. another way that we can get to him so we'll click on him and then our character automatically walks to him so that way it's kind of really easy to find stuff i just stick with letting the game auto follow or auto progress through the game for me We'll click accept there. We'll close our map because we don't need that anymore. Now the next quest is for me to kill two spiders. So my character only has one skill. It's down on the bottom. Again, and if I want to, at any, point, at any point, if I want to manually control my character, I can run up to a spider and then use this button on the bottom right-hand corner to do attacks. And that's not like my basic attacks, right? So I've killed the spider. It's It looks like it dropped some... Um, coins or whatever but anyway we're just going to click on this and we're gonna go back to Harold and Harold pops up here and he's gonna give us a sword uh, now completing this quest is gonna give us 240 experience and uh, 3,000 bound Zen now there's bound Zen and there's a uh, regular Zen a Zen is your gold uh, your currency some of one of your currencies there's tons of currencies in this game and there's like a bound version of each and then there's an unbound version version of each uh, bound, you tend to get a lot more bound. There are things that cost unbound, um, but we won't worry about that right for now. So anyway, we'll, we'll accept that. And it says here, this sword is 280 CP, which is your character power better than what you currently have, which is nothing. So we're going to equip that. And you see up on the top left-hand corner, underneath my character, it says my CP is 1993. Um, CP, I think, I don't know what that really stands for. I call it character power. And the higher that number is, the more powerful you are. So it's a fitting uh, nomenclature for it. So I've, I've killed my budge dragons. I'm going to head over to Monica here. Uh, this is a pretty cool story if you want to read through it. Um, and, and it takes you through the entire game. It's pretty fun. So we'll click accept. And we're going to gain the ability death stab. So uh, if I let the game continue to play for me, um, it's going to go find some bullfighters here, and, and by play for me, I mean, you know, it automatically goes to the next area here. It finds bullfighters, and then it's going to automatically start attacking. Now, the ability I just did there was the death stab, right, that I just learned, and it's going to do that whenever it's off a of cooldown. You see on the, on the right-hand corner here, it's got a four-second cooldown. Now, if we wanted to check out what's up with that, we could click on, we'll just click X here for now and just kind of interrupt our... Uh, gameplay through here and if you want to click on inventory it's right down at the bottom underneath um, to the right of our dialog box 
click on inventory, uh, and this is going to take us to our character our uh, character inventory, right? So right now the only thing that I have equipped is my sword. If I were to click on my sword, it's going to bring up the sword and it's going to tell me that it has a CP power or a character power, so CP of 280 is the 200 weapon. Um, and then if I scroll down through it, it's got like excellent damage and it's, you know, it does stuff. So you can compare, that's how you can compare one piece of gear to something else. Um, if you want to click on stats, we can, we can do that. And right now this is the attributes tab. It tells you kind of the physical damage you have, the magic damage you have, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we go to stats and right now I've got auto statting turned on, which is what I want. I don't really care. If I wanted to be really specific about how I build my character, I could come in here and do that. Um, I haven't found that that's to be a problem yet, so I'm just letting it auto stat. It's fine. So if I come over to skill, these are the skills that my character can learn at the moment. Um, we've got cyclone, which is just my three swing attack. Um, and down here in the description, my current effects are um, it does 18.09 percent physical damage uh, to the target and then an additional 10 physical damage um, the damage increases depending on the number of combos which is pretty cool okay so now if I wanted to upgrade it I could spend this currency over here um, the green currency here I've got 198 of this currency um, I could hit increase skill but I don't have enough to do that look at death stab this does 160 and you'll see that it has a where's the cooldown? I thought oh there four second cooldown it takes six percent of my max XP or um, magic power, um, yeah. And then there's other things that we we don't have access to yet. So we're gonna hit we're gonna continue with this, Dark and we're gonna get ourselves um it seems like death is upon them a leather leather chest piece. Now this is gonna tell us that this leather chest piece is 119 CP better than what. I have which is nothing <laughs> so we'll toss our leather on and now our next quest is to go kill two hounds so we're gonna let the game um, kind of kill two hounds for us and once it's done doing that it will go to the little uh, girl Amy which if you remember her she is on the south uh, west side of Laurencia uh, anyway I'm gonna interrupt here and kind of explain something else here uh, so on the top right top uh, side of the screen you've got four little boxes okay um, you're you have two menus up here at any time right so this is our combat uh, menu if I were to go into town here and get out of combat um, I can I can switch to if I click on my character so I'm clicking on my character's face here it brings up another menu so in this menu I can click on character and go back to the screen that you've already seen. Um, I can check out my achievements, and I'll explain those later. Um, we can look at oops, we can look at ranking. We can go to the shop. So there's a shop button here, and there's also a shop button here, and we'll get, we'll definitely get into that. Uh, we could click on quest and kind of see where we're at on our quest. Uh, we only have one going on right now. Um, later on, there's daily quests and such. Uh, which we don't have yet. So if I click back on my character's face, it brings up the other system or the other menu. And we can hide this menu at any time by hitting this green button here. Okay. Um, so uh, another thing you can do. Okay, so up the system up here, there's an event going on right now. It's called the Carnival Event. Mobs randomly drop these masks um, that you can use to, um, to to purchase things. So Right now it's saying, okay, if I, if I wanted to, I can click on all these and claim claim stuff. I don't want to do that just yet. Um, I mean, you can if you want to, but I'm, I'm not going to right now. Um, there's also this reward. Uh, I am a plus card member, uh, which means that I've purchased... Um, oh, I guess it's character. I, I suppose it's per character, so never mind. Uh, so yeah, here's a consecutive log. If there's anything that you have not claimed in your rewards there'll be this little exclamation mark so you just come over to whatever the next exclamation mark is and I have logged in every day for one day <laughs> so we'll click claim it'll do like a little uh, scroll thing and I've got 500,000 bounds in now which is a lot um, so consecutive login days I've logged in for one consecutive login day so we're gonna get 750 of this um, this gem 
and we're going to get a jewel of soul a uh, jewel of blessed sorry which is used for increasing your the level of your gear i'll show you that here in a second and then we also have this super awesome brass necklace that we can't wear yet because we're not high enough level uh, but we're going to claim that because that's good and then excuse me and then we have a daily login so i've been playing for exactly 15 minutes or 15 minutes uh, up to this point so that means i can claim the three minute one and the and the 10 minute one so they're going to do their little uh their little thing and sweet they're going to give us 10,000 gems and a feather very cool so we'll exit out of that now you'll notice that our rewards up here no longer has an exclamation mark on it our system has an exclamation mark on it so let's click on that and it says we've got some mail so let's click on that and they've got a happy hour thing going on now uh we're gonna get two of these condor flames sure uh, we won't be able to use those for until later and then we've got an update reward which is uh something anyway um i think this is because i purchased some stuff so this is going to give us a whole bunch of things that we will definitely get into later um first thing we're going to do though is we're going to come back into our character menu by clicking on our face and then on character and then we're going to go down to title and we're going to equip this title uh is it still in my inventory maybe it's still in my inventory so we come over here and yep it's crusader title this is actually going to give us um you see where it says um, max physical defense it's going to give us 80 additional defense 80 additional magic defense um 300 hp reflect damage so this is actually going to give us a buff so we're going to use this um, and then we're going to come over to, you see our, our CP grew like f almost 500. We're go, going to go down to title and we're going to equip this. All right, because it's an upgrade. That little green arrow right here tells us that the Crusader title is an upgrade. So now if I close out of that, I have the Crusader title above me and I do way more damage. <laughs> or, and you know, take less, less damage and stuff like that. So... All right, the next thing I want to show you is the meditation system that they've got going on. So, uh, and that'll probably wrap up the video for now, and then I'll just make some more here shortly. But um, when you're AFK or when you're not logged into your character, your game, the character goes into a meditation, and it accumulates uh, experience over time. So we've been meditating for 10 minutes now, um, talking about the menu stuff here, and... In that time, I've accumulated 24,000. Um, so if I just click on this, it tells me that I've accumulated 24,000 experience and 300 of these little globe things. Okay, now I can spend unbound Zen or unbound diamonds to um, to increase that. Now we don't have any of that just yet, so we're gonna click on receive base XP EXP for free. So that gives us a lot of experience, and then we'll click stop meditation and then we'll get back to our questing. So that, that leveled us up. We're level 14 hey, now. Be careful. So if we click on this, this will probably level us up as well. And then we need to go talk, talk to Delgado. So um, once I get to Delgado here, I'm gonna hit the X and we're going to just stop for, for now. What you probably wanna do is you want to get into, you know, just kind of run through all this stuff. But I wanted to show you all of the intro stuff and kind of explain everything that's going on so that you're not like overwhelmed. As soon as I logged into this game for the first time, I'm like, whoa, why is my character automatically running everywhere? Why is it doing everything automatically? Am I even playing this game? <laughs> yes, you are playing this game. And yes, you can play this game by yourself. Like you don't have to have the auto thing going on. But the auto thing is really nice. It's really handy. It's there to help you uh, find things and get stuff quicker. Um, there is a, a bit of grindiness once you get into like Rebirth 4. I'm doing a lot of grinding right now just because I didn't do things early on that I should have and I'm having to play catch up. So anyway, hope you liked the video. I'll probably do some more here just kind of playing through with my, my uh, Death Knight here. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.